Hello, we are in Louisville, Kentucky. We are um, on Dixie Highway. We have uh, made our way from the upper Midwest, where I'm from, into the middle Midwest, St. Louis, uh, southern Illinois, Indiana, which is kind of a totally different sort of Midwest than where I'm from. Uh, fascinating, uh, beautiful uh, colors, beautiful roads, cool small towns, just a totally different kind of thing than, than where I'm from in the north, which is much more um, factory oriented, much more um, like, like um, northern Italy or Germany. Down here it's a little bit more uh, farmland, small town kind of stuff, like American graffiti style. And we are now officially, uh, as far as I know, as a Midwestern dude, we are now officially in the south. We're on Dixie Highway and we're seeing lots of uh, stuff that would imply that we are in the Confederate States. A lot of Confederate flags, a lot of Leonard Skinner blasting out of cars, and, and, and actually there's a lot of Dixie street names and things like that. It's really fascinating to roll south into the country and start hooking a little bit east and to see how um, every hour things change. We're now seeing, instead of just flat farmland, we're seeing uh, rock formations around here. There's these giant swaths of rock um, beside the roads. Uh, clearly, they cut the roads into mountains, and um, tomorrow I'll tell you a story about Cave County, Kentucky, when we get there. Um, lots of history here, lots of history, Civil War, uh, obviously people came to America in the earliest days of this country and, and, and came out here, I guess, on horses and in wagons, and um, with that theme, we're going to talk about uh, two young ladies that we're dedicating our afternoon to, uh, who, who've made cancer history. They've kicked its butt and it's now behind them. Uh, Aurora Bialaga and Felicia Fugoli, two Italian girls. Um, Aurora was diagnosed with stage three worms tumor at age eight. She's now nine. She finished treatment in March. And um, she just had a three month scans. That's a big deal in cancer treatment. Um, and uh, she's totally clear. So we're very happy about that. She's from Bellevue, Washington, uh, a state that we were in last year around this time. Felicia um, was diagnosed with stage five lungs tumor, which means she had it in both kidneys. She also had cancer in both of her lungs and her liver in 2007 when she was three years old. That's a lot. I mean, that's, that's kidneys, liver, lungs. That's a lot to treat. Um, she underwent chemo radiation, several surgeries, and on August 20th, 2008, she and her family heard the magical words that she's cancer free. I mean, that's like the World Series, the Stanley Cup, and the Super Bowl right there. Um, as a cancer dad, I know what, what it's like to go through those surgeries. Uh, and in my case, and in Joanne's case, Pablo only had the surgeries in his kidney areas, um, and, that, and that is... Uh, that was a lot. That was a lot of intensity. That was a lot of recovery on the little boy's body. And Felicia uh, went through it uh, in three areas of her body. Uh, so as we uh, prepare to chill out for the rest of the afternoon and, and tonight, we are celebrating uh, the fact that Aurora and Felicia have made cancer history. And they are now on the other side of it. And they're now back in their lives and rocking. So. From Louisville, Kentucky, Pablo across America in 2011, we'll see you later.